She graduated. Mama Salah Jenkins? Yeah. Uh, her, her work is absolutely incredible. So when you look across this North Avenue and you see your coppin expanded, how does it feel? Well, I think we've got a lot of opportunity. I think we've got a lot of power. I think we've got a lot of future. The Science and Technology Building is uh, just the tip of the iceberg, although it's the biggest thing you see. One of our juniors is just coming back from a summer experience at Princeton, where he received funding for his cancer research work, and he's already uh, being funded through his doctorate, and he hasn't even graduated from our undergraduate program yet. That's Sunil. Uh, the uh, building will include our natural science department, one of our uh, natural science faculty members, Dr. Giroux, is the editor of uh, one of the leading national uh, agricultural environmental research journals. Over there we have Health and Human Services, where our nursing school and the nursing center are located. We also opened the James McDonald Child Care Center, named after an alum who was one of our staunchest supporters. And he um, unfortunately passed away many years ago, well up in years, having given his life to this community and this institution. Well, I wanted to tell you that you are one of my favorite professors of all time. You taught me about listening. And, it, and it's more, it's so much to it. Any thoughts on critical listening? Listening is <laughs> critical. Whether you are looking at the comic strips or the headlines, unless and until we learn to listen to each other and accept each other's pieces of the truth as valid from their perspectives, we've got a problem. Once we learn that, we'll be able to approach the problems. The one and only. Dr. Judith Wilner, and you pushed me through McNair. Oh, yo, you guy, you professors were just brutal on us, and I thank God for it. I mean it. Thank you, Don. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. <laughs>